everyone, welcome to today's episode. And I'm so excited that the amazing Cameron Henderson from Bougie on a Budget is with me today. Thank you so much, Cameron. Thank you for having me. I just, um, I've been following your page for so long and it's so fun and unique and I'm trying to copycat you on one of my pages and it's hard. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Lisa. And and likewise, I love your page. I absolutely love your videos. So, Aww. I mean, same here. I just think it's, it's awesome. Oh, thank you. No problem. Yeah. So, um, I have a few questions for you. So, okay. why did you decide to start your decor page? And it's so unique. So, like, kind of like, how did you like formulate this, formulate this really cool page? Um, so basically, it really started off as a hobby. Like it was, it was strictly a hobby. I, it, I never imagined that it would escalate to what it is now. Um, but it started off with me just finding like my store finds and just posting like things that I find in different stores that I would go to. And the whole concept of putting different pieces together, mm -hmm. um, it could be from multiple stores, but just that color scheme and putting things together. And I would just post it and people liked it. And that's like really how it started. So it really started off with me just posting my store finds. Like it was just, honestly a hobby it was just something that I love to do just to go to the store and you know and and shop and just it just started off for me like really showing other people like my store finds and from there it just it just took off from there yeah just what you were interested in this yeah I mean podcast. it was just like I said it was really just a hobby like it was just it wasn't anything I wasn't looking for anything out of it it was just um you know to showcase my store finds to others so that others can find different things that I find um that they could find in their local stores so that's mainly how it started off like seriously it was just me um going to various stores and posting the different things the home decor pieces that I found Love it. I love it. it was, it's so unique and so fun and everyone loves to shop and yeah. I love how you like put the things together and then just post about it and let people kind of know, hey, at Ross today, these are here or. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, um, my sister-in-law, I actually, um, she was saying like, I need to find more like affordable home decor finds. I'm like, follow my friend Cameron. She's out yeah. of well, always posting good stuff. <laughs> yes. I mean, and, and, and people, I guess, you know, before I started the page, like a lot of people didn't realize that, oh, like you can really find some nice affordable pieces mm -hmm. with like the fraction of the cost of where you will find like similar pieces at other stores. So yeah. people didn't know, um, you know, that you can find such affordable home decor items um, but I mean, apparently it has helped a lot of people out. <laughs> Tons of messages. I love that. I love that so much. Yeah. And, um, so like you said, it's just so unique. So you would just start adding your finds and then slowly you start layering in what else? So it started off with my finds. And then I mixed it with things that like I would find and, and then I'll show people like how I would decorate it in my home. So, so my page is not strictly just my home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I kind of keep it um, really diverse. I have, you know, different things that I post, um, but it's really just showcase things that people can find at their local stores and I just show how I decorated it and, and used it in my home and a lot of people like they'll tell me like I have to find that or like I get messages where people say oh thank you so much for posting you know whatever I found it and like this is how I decorated it in my house I'm like that is awesome it's not fun that's yes. the best part about Instagram is just like connecting with pe strangers and they get inspired by you and then they show you I love that's that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love right. that. So as your journey evolved, you started doing e-design, correct? I did. Yes. So about, um, I want to say maybe almost close to a year ago now, I started my um, e-designs and like my page, I posted like every now and then I would post like a couple of e-designs um, 
and I would like, you know, I wouldn't advertise my business because I didn't have a business at the time, but it was just something that I just, I just love to do. So, um, I got so many, um, so much interest on my e-design. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I should just start this uh, e-design, you know, service. So I created another page, which is Bougie on a Bougie Designs, and it's just strictly all of my designs. So it's a lot of mood boards. It's more so mood boards than e-designs. Um, but people, I mean, they get inspired by it. And that, literally, that's how I began starting my business. So um, on my website, I actually have, it's linked to the Bougie on a Bougie Designs as opposed to Bougie on a Bougie. I mean, it's just a showcase of, of my work. <laughs> Oh, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I follow both. So I love them both. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I mean, and that's just something else that I just love to do. Just putting pieces um, together. So, yeah, I like, I remember like watching your stories sometimes or things that you'd pick when you'd shop and you just like group things from different areas and put yes. together. <laughs> yes. What's the reaction you get in the store when you do stuff like that? So sometimes like people look at me like, wow, like, that's nice. I love how you put that together. <laughs> and I've actually had people who like, if I put something together, I mean, I just, you know, I'll start a conversation with literally anybody in a store. <laughs> I mean, I, I even promote myself in a store, but um, I'll put things together in a store and people like, I've had a couple people who actually will buy it. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. yes. Like um, just, you know, cause a lot of people are not, they don't have that, you know, not, a visual people and mm -hmm. to be able to put things together is it, it is it's, it's difficult for some people so yeah I've, I've put things together in the store and I've had people to actually buy all the pieces that I put together and I like, <laughs> thought it was like so cool that's that's really cool I get a lot of stares when I'm talking on my phone <laughs> You know, Most of people just stare at me like, what is that girl doing? Yeah, I've gotten stares too. Like if I, um, you know, just recording something, yeah. like I'll probably put it like in my IG stories, like things that I found or like I'll like be recording and then put it in my IG stories. I do get stares sometimes, but um, I don't know, like I turn into conversations. Like yeah. I even tell people, hey, look, follow me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's smart. I yeah. know Steve told me once I should get carbs. Because people, and I'm like, you know, I probably should. I still That's have a it. great idea. You should, yeah, you should get cards and then oh, you can pass them out. And you pass them out, you know, at home goods. <laughs> that is an awesome idea. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're both going to get cards. All right. <laughs> Let's get our cards and pass them out. Yeah. Um, okay, good. Um, so you have the two pages, we discussed that, and you do e-design, which I love. And so people just go to your, they go to the links in both your pages, and that's gonna take them to your website, correct? Yeah, so I have my website is linked to both of my pages. So yes, yeah, so if there's any, anybody who ever wants or interested in um, my services, they can either look on Bougie on a Bougie or Bougie on a Bougie e-design. Okay, good. Yeah. And then you just recently moved and I'm, loving, I'm loving watching how you're decorating and Thank all the different you. things you're doing. Thank you. So how Thank is you. putting all that together when I see so, your daughter? Right here? Um, I've gotten so many questions about that. <laughs> so honestly, like just for a tip, what I know what I did, like before I moved, I was actually buying pieces. Hmm. So I, I, and I, and I, and I actually told like my followers, like I stole a lot of things and I just wanted a fresh start. I wanted to start over. I wanted something completely new. I wanted a new color scheme. And as I was selling things, I was, I was buying things. Mm -hmm. So it was like one of those things, like once I moved, I didn't really have to buy anything. You know, I didn't have to put anything together. I created, um, my own, um, mood board of how I wanted my, my living room, the colors and everything. And piece by piece, I was buying things before I moved. And I literally probably had maybe over 50% of the things that's in my home now. Oh, so wow. I didn't have to do too much of, of anything. That's nice. That's, yes. smart. that's a great tip. Yes. Yes. I mean, even if it's not whole furniture pieces, because like even now I don't have my sofa yet, it'll be delivered on this Saturday, okay. but just like the decor items, I had all of that. Yeah. Yes. So you can, and I see, it, I love the color palette you've chosen. Thank you. 
Yes. I, so this, um, when I moved, like I knew I wanted neutral colors. So my colors mainly are like white, cream, gold. Um, but yeah, like, so like everything that I have now, I literally bought it before I moved. And that could be a lot of a tip that would help a lot of people. It doesn't, you don't have to, I'm not saying you have to have your whole entire house, you know, furnished before you move in, but just buying piece by piece. Mm -hmm. um because some people when they move in they're like oh my gosh I have an empty house and now I have to furnish everything but if you just buy things in, in increments and in pieces it helps a lot yeah no, it, pro it really does you know I've yeah. moved like so many times and <laughs> <laughs> so many like so many times and um selling off pieces and then you know getting the new pieces and then and getting the new pieces. yes it 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 it's extremely helpful yeah and then you don't have to move it. <laughs> and you don't, right, exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, well, I just, like I said, I just love your page so much. And I want to know, like, can you share, like, a, a couple really good tips? So, if, uh, there's a brand new person out there wanting to start an Instagram page. And what, what tips would you give them? Let's see. Um... I would say um, one of the main things for me is to stand out. Um, I just think being unique is a great way to stand out, um, whether they are an inspirational page or a page that strictly um, promotes their own home. Just find something that you do that is unique because, as you know, it's a lot of um, influencers and home decor influencers out there. Um, but if you're just starting off, I would say like just just come up with something that that you are will stand out with. You're you're you know as an individual something that will promote yourself from being different from everybody else. Right. Right. Yeah. Like that would probably be like one of the main suggestions um, that I would have for anybody that's just starting off with a home decor page. Like just be unique. Be unique. Be, be yeah. unique to yourself. Have fun with it. So, yeah. Um, be unique. Be yourself. I was actually listening to some of uh, some of your other um, podcast interviews, um, and one of the things that kind of like stuck out with me was not just being unique, but just being yourself. You know, because people people like that. People like genuine. You know, like a genuine person. And for myself. Um, I didn't start off like really showcasing myself, mm -hmm. um, but as my page like began to grow, then I started like showing myself. So, you know, just kind of connecting with my followers, not just like my store finds, but just kind of like showing them like th this is how you can. Like, I literally found this base from Home Goods of Burlington, and this is how I used it in my house. Yeah, you, you know, when you spray painted, is that the one you just recently you spray painted? Like, <laughs> people love it. And I, people love it. Um, and like my daughter, I put her in like, like I just started doing videos. So I'm still fairly new. In videos. You're doing good. You're doing so good. Thank you. Like I literally like, like I'm, I just started doing it. But like when I do them, like every time, like my daughter is like, she wants to be in the videos. I'm like, okay, London, like, okay, you can, you'll be, you can be in this video. Like Thank she's you. excited. But I just feel like even that, it just kind of gives me a connection. Mm -hmm. Um, with my followers mm -hmm. I know like one of my friends she called me and she was like hey Kim like I love your page and I love the fact that you're doing you know your videos because it's, it's a it's a personal touch yeah you know so it's a fam well it's a family affair I love how like you guys are putting your new home together to get you know together together <laughs> together together exactly <laughs> It's, it's sweet <laughs> on a budget exactly on, so, a budget. <laughs> on a budget and she loves it and like I said like even with that it's just kind of like my it's, it's it's more of a personal touch because my you know my followers are able to actually see like in person oh wow yeah. like she really took that base and spray painted and it looks like something that's extremely expensive you know yeah. so and it fits right into your decor, which means you can find something on clearance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you can literally find something on clearance and you can, you know, you can put it in your home and, you know, the way you fix it up, it, it, 
you no one will ever know. Yeah. And you know, it's really cool is you're showing your daughter of that too. So she's yes. going to have all these memories of, yes. like, you know, yes. So even now, like, you know, she, she keeps her room clean. I'm like, wow, like this is really like, cause she, you know, she's like, yeah, like, and then like her pillows, like she'll make sure like her bed is made and, um, like she'll show me like when, when we were putting like, um, like her wall decor up, like she showed me how she wanted everything on her wall. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, you're learning. Yeah, <laughs> she is. The motivation too to keep her room clean. So yeah, right. I love that. I love that. I know. Um, I have one daughter who's eh about the home decor, and the other one that like can't wait to come in and see what's new. So. Yeah. <laughs> and also the one that comes and takes my stuff. Are you using this? <laughs> so are you using this? Yeah, like I can use this in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And the other one's like, don't bring another thing over to my house. <laughs> <laughs> my house is full. Yeah, and you know what? And that's how my daughter was when I was buying things. She was like, Mom, well, where's all this stuff going to go? And I'm like, it's going to go in our new house. <laughs> and literally, like, we moved out of a, um, like, we, we, we were living in an apartment. So we didn't really have that much space. Mm -hmm. So like, li like everything that I bought was just like really all congested in our apartment. And she was like, mom, we have no more space for you. <laughs> but I'm like, you'll see. You'll see. We're going to put it all together when we move. Oh, so. you're like, I have a vision. <laughs> Having a vision, exactly. <laughs> you probably had it all up here. Do you catch yourself, like, like I know, because I've talked about how I batch content. So like the... The time before the photographer comes for me, I can't sleep because I'm like, is this done? Like I'm doing mental checklists. So that's, did you, you probably do that a lot too. Or do you catch yourself like daydreaming and thinking about design? Like, I do. <laughs> you know what? I, I really do. Like, you know, I'll think about like, is this, is this nice? Like, you know, is this, is this, is this good enough? Like, is this going to, is this, does this really look good for me to, to be able to, to post it? So I, I do, I really do. And also like just design is just, it's just therapeutic to me. It just, you know, it's just something like just going to a store, even if I don't buy anything, just looking around, it's just, it's just so therapeutic. But um, I know when I told a lot of people, like, really, honestly, my full-time job, I'm actually a teacher. Like, oh, you are? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. So full time, I'm actually really good here. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, that's just something that a lot of people didn't know. Like, yes, yeah, so I am. So, but um, that whole, you know, being able to put things together, the color scheme, like, so I actually, um, I have a degree in, in art. Oh, so okay. that's where a lot of it actually came from. I was going to say, so it comes naturally to you. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. You have a so you have the, a degree in arts. So you're a teacher. Yes. You're a full-time influencer. You do e-design. You're yes. a mom. Yes. <laughs> you're yes. not it's a, lot going on. <laughs> it's a lot going on. <laughs> yes. And so I've actually had more time to kind of like focus more on my on e-designs. Um, because school is out. So, yeah. but even when school was in, I just had to just balance, you know, um, mom life, yeah. work life, entrepreneurship life, influencer life. So, um, it's a lot, but just doing the summer kind of gave me a, a break, you know, a little bit and just to be able to kind of focus a little bit more on my e-designs and, um, my page. So that's, that was great, but it is a task. Yeah. People don't realize like there's a whole, like, another world behind the page yes on sometimes yes it's yeah. a, it's entire different it's a whole nother world <laughs> yes <laughs> so what do your students think do they follow you or you just don't tell them <laughs> i don't tell them no i don't i don't tell them at all um i do have like quite a few of my co-workers who do follow me yeah. so that's pretty cool and i actually um I created e-design for one of my coworkers' rooms in her home. So, so they, they like my coworkers know what I do. Yeah. Um, but students know, I don't, I don't tell them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are they little, are they little kids? Yeah. They're, they're middle school. So I teach oh, middle yeah. school. So six, seven and eighth grade. So 
No. So they <laughs> know me as, you know, Miss Henderson, but they don't know, um, they don't know anything about, you know, my home decor life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're little, so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I had so much fun talking with you today. Thank and you so I didn't much. You're a teacher, and that's amazing. Like, you are, you are doing it. You're doing it all. So, Thank you. do you have to go back to school virtually? Um, actually, um, they have not made the announcement for the school that I work at, well, the district. So, they'll be making their announcement on Friday. So, we'll see. I don't that's know how this is going to work, but yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being my friend on Instagram and thank you so much for being on my podcast. I so appreciate you. I love your page and I can't wait everyone to follow you and you guys want e-design. She's your girl. I love all your e-designs. So thank you. And likewise, <laughs> yes, likewise. I mean, your page is very uh, inspiring. I know like I would like literally watch your videos all the time. It's like, man, she's like really crafty. Like I love her DIYs. I love like the things that like she'll just, you know, create like this is awesome. So thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I feel completely honored. So thank oh, you so much, oh, Lisa. Thank you. thank you so much. Well, you have a fabulous rest of your day and I can't wait to see how the rest of your home unfolds and see your sofa. <laughs> Thank you. I know, right? The sofa comes this weekend, so I, I cannot wait to post that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. <laughs> thank you. All right. So we're recording's off. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. <laughs> that was fun. Yay. That was fun, Lisa. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, so, um, I'll do a whole blog post and then as long as this video quality turns out good, there'll be a YouTube channel. I can't ever promise that, okay. but, um, definitely the podcast blog post. I'm going to make sure I'll have all your links to your pages and, mm -hmm. and everything out. So, okay. and, um, I tried to do this in advance because uh -huh. like with the baby coming. So uh -huh. your, your show probably won't air for like quite a few weeks, like a few weeks. Okay. Just, that's fine. I'm going to give you a heads up all along the way. Hey, this is your okay. link. <laughs> yeah, Here's just, all your um, links. Yeah, give me um, a heads up. I think I sent you the Pinterest, my website, and my two pages. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. so I think you have everything. I have everything. Yeah. Okay. So, good. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. I didn't know you were a teacher. That's so awesome. Yes, Lisa. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard um but i'm really hoping we go virtual i know my my daughter's school um they've already made their announcements that they're 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 doing virtual at least for the first um quarter so i'm really hoping um my district where i work like we're doing virtual too you it would help me you know help her even though i'll have to be teaching but at least she could still be here and i can you know be working with her so it's a mess that's scary. It's scary. I have another friend. One of my best friends is a teacher too. And they're, they're figuring all that out too. And I'm like, she teaches uh, kindergarten and I'm like, how oh. do you teach all the little ones in the masks? Like, I don't know how they're even going to be able to figure that out. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Cause my daughter is actually, she'll be in kindergarten. And yeah. at first, like they gave us a choice. Like we could either do online or we can do, um, we could pick, um, in person, but the in person was only two days a week. But then, the cases began to rise in my area so then the district said you know what we're not going to do mm -mm, we're just going to do all virtual that's nice yeah hopefully so you hopefully you too i got yeah. from the teachers because kids are germy <laughs> extremely germy <laughs> can you imagine like can you imagine kindergarten social distancing no <laughs> no like my kids even like i remember when they were little we, the routine was we come home from school, everyone wash your hands, shoes off outside, wash your hands. Yeah. Because we went through a phase where they're two years apart, went through a phase where everyone was getting so sick and I'm like, yeah. I have to implement like a cleaning regime. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, well, we always took our shoes off anyway, but then shoes off, everyone go wash your hands right away. Yeah. And you know, you could change into your play clothes, you know, right. things like that really helped. Yeah. 
and I saw we got a lot less sick after that. After that, <laughs> but yeah, I, I just there's no way. I mean, even the district had like they had their own like they had a, a whole plan of how they would do the day with cleaning and everything for kindergartens, but they came back and was like, no, yeah, yeah. all virtual. <laughs> Okay, well, have a good rest of your day, and we'll Thanks, see you Lisa. Okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Bye. Talk to you later.